Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. I am Royal Mix Gaming and today we're going to make a video on Scipio. This video is going to be about his best talents, his best pairs, and also the minimum skill requirement for him to use him in the open field. But before we get started, um, I would just like to say sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. I have been working extra hours at work in the evenings so that I can be on and live stream for the pass opening on the 29th of April at 9 UTC, which is 4 a.m. for me, I think. So I'll be trying to live stream around 4 a.m. to stream pretty much all day and get that pass opening ready to go. So I hope you guys will join me for that and watch me fight in KVK on my alt here. I have been training troops, trying to have plenty of troops for this KVK. And another announcement or thing that's been happening is soon I may be doing a new job. So it depends on where I'm going to land in the next couple of months, depending on where I'm going, whether or not I'm going to have the best internet to live stream and things like that. So I'll let you guys keep you guys up to date on that, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Like I was saying, just have to see how it goes. But I'll keep you guys up to date on that, and I appreciate anybody that's subscribed and is watching my videos. I thank you very much. I enjoyed making these videos for you guys and helping you guys learn. And it also gives me something to do that I enjoy doing. So thank you guys for that. So back to Scipio. I'm going to go ahead and swap over to my main account really, really quickly here. So for Scipio, you're going to be getting him from the Wheel of Fortune. He just came out yesterday on the 25th of April, I think, something like that. And he is an infantry commander that is pretty good so far that we can tell. I will try to show you some reports at the very end of this video just to kind of show you the pairs that I'm recommending, why I think they're pretty good. I may not be able to show you every single report, but most of them I should be able to get. So I'm going to go ahead and summon him here. You can go ahead and see him. Scipio Africanus, the legendary version, is this guy here. So... The minimum skill order that I would probably do for him is probably going to be getting all his first skill maxed, obviously. You're going to want to max his second skill and probably do him like 5-5-5-1. Five, 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 because the last skill is a chance to reduce all damage. And it does give you a shield. And it does go up per damage factor on the shield. But I think that getting the extra health bonus here and then additional damage per time... It's probably better than trying to random get this last skill higher or do like a 5515. Five, five. So I think definitely like a 5551 five, five, would be really good in the open field and would be like the minimum, not the minimum necessarily, probably 5511 five, one is probably the minimum. But like pretty much field ready, got all the stats that you need for open field and all the damage is probably 5551. Five, five, and then the last skill is basically just to help your allies and yourself a little bit, take a little bit less damage occasionally. And then his final expertise is increases skill damage by 10%, and when a target is silenced, its rage grows 30% faster. Now that's only going to be relevant for certain pairs that you're going to do, but we'll go ahead and run through all the skills here really fast. He deals direct damage in a fan-shaped area up to 2,000, reduces the enemy's health by 30%. He's going to get infantry attack bonus of 40%, march speed of 15%, and a trigger chance of getting extra march speed of 10% while outside of Alliance territory. His third skill is extra 20% health when you're attacking other troops. And then you also have a chance to deal additional damage factor for 3 seconds up to a damage factor of 500, which is a very high damage factor over time for 3 seconds, so that's 1500 damage factor, which is really, really good additional damage factor. His fourth skill is taking a... There's a 50% chance of reducing all the damage you take up to 30%. And you also get a shield that covers up to three allied troops for three seconds. Damage factor of 250 all the way up to 500. It only triggers it once every eight seconds. It's similar to like a Trajan skill is why I'm saying is you're going to get this kind of like a stacking shield that you're going to get occasionally. And when you're open field fighting, you're going to fight for probably 15 to 20 seconds. And maybe pop a skill, and then you're probably going to leave combat. So this shielding ability is an incremental value that I think is kind of left alone unless you're going to expertise him automatically. You should get the other skills first is why I'm trying to say. So a talent tree that I'm going to do for him, since he is pretty similar to Constantine, I'm going to go ahead and show you my Constantine tree. It's very similar. We're going to go ahead. You're going to go over here. I'm just going to go to a slightly different one that I can just reset. 
You're going to go to emergency protection, max that out. You're going to go to rejuvenate and max it out. Then you're going to skip any of these other talents in the support tree. You don't really need them. You're going to go all the way up to hold the line. You're going to max out hold the line. You're going to go over to strung a body, max that out. You're going to get undying fury, max that out. You're going to probably go ahead and you have an option here a little bit depending on what you're wanting to get, but I would get the extra damage to cavalry here, grab some extra march speed, keep going up this way, and you can either go all the way up to the reduce the march speed of the target by up to, by go up to probably 5 or 10% because you're not going to be able to max it all the way, but you probably want to try and get the extra health on the side here, the extra defense, and probably two points into some extra attack, if you want some extra march speed, you can try and go for the extra march speed over here. That is up to you if you want the extra march speed, but you don't really need it. You can also do Cage of Thorns if you really think you need to reduce the march speed of their target, but you're not really going to be using him with anybody that's going to be trying to slow the target or do more damage when they're slowed. So I would try and avoid that and just grab the extra health and defense because it's extra stats. Do extra march speed or you get Cage of Thorns if you want to reduce the target's march speed. It's pretty much the same thing as this one down here. It's pretty much exactly the same, just slightly different. But I would just grab the extra march speed in general, unless you feel like you can try and slow the target down, which is okay to do also. But this is basically the town tree overall that I would do for him because you don't need the garrison tree, you don't need any of the extra health because you're not healing, and you don't need this, obviously, because it's just siege. The other one is just trying to reduce the march speed of the target and i don't really necessarily care for elite soldiers because i think that rejuvenate and emergency protection is better overall than that than trying to get extra stats that are really far into the tree and you have to max other things that you're going to ditch some of the other things that are really really good in this tree that is pretty much the only talent tree i would do for scipio i don't really think there's any other one that i would really try and do other than that i don't think you can really do anything else because it's the versatility tree and it's not very good so for the pairs that I would do for Scipio, you can always pair him primary or secondary, but some of the best pairs for Scipio that I can see that are basically not budget. So I'm going to do kind of like the three best pairs for Scipio, and then I'm going to kind of tell you what they're good for, each one of them. And then we're going to go with like one budget commander, that one or two budget commanders that you can do with Scipio also if you don't have those commanders or you're going to have multiple marches of infantry and need to pair them with some, him with somebody else. So I would say probably the most common combo you're going to see, the most universal pair that you're going to see is using Guan Yu primary with Scipio secondary. Main reason is it's going to help Scipio's expertise because Guan Yu silences the target. And if you'd seen on his expertise, you're going to be getting a bonus to increase your skill damage and when the target is silenced, grow your rage by 30%. This is basically the only combo that you can do where you're going to get the full value of your expertise on Scipio would be to pair Guan Yu primary. Guan Yu has to be primary because he gets all his damage when primary is 2,000. If you put him secondary, you're going to get 1,000 and it's not good. Don't put Scipio first and do Guan Yu secondary. It's not good. Don't do that. So this would be my first and probably top pair because you're getting a double AoE with Guan Yu and Scipio, which is really, really good. Um, the second combo that you can try and do that I think is probably going to be the second most common because most people are going to have it is probably going to be Scipio or Herald Primary with, or Herald Primary with Scipio. So Herald Primary would do more damage. You're going to get faster skills off. And then the Scipio primary is probably going to be trying to take a little bit less damage overall because the support tree has got a little bit more protection than the skill tree does. And the skill tree is basically all out, and you're trying to just do as much damage as possible. If we're going to use Herald primary, I would use this talent tree with Herald primary, go for the full feral nature, and do the hold the line and the counterattack buckler shield at the bottom. If you're going to use Herald primary, that's what I would do. But I would only do Herald if you're going to expertise Herald or at least have him 5515 five, with Scipio as a primary or as a secondary. Both are basically the same, and they're another good option that I think would be the second most common pair for like actually good legendaries that you don't have to just get from other places. You actually have to invest gold key actual sculptures into. And then the third most common that is probably going to do the most single target damage is going to be 
basically Scipio primary with Chuck secondary. So Guan Yu and Scipio are going to do the most AoE and give you the most value. Harold and Scipio is probably going to do the most like guaranteed kind of like randomness how much damage you're going to do. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Give you a little bit more survivability because Harold's going to be doing more damage when he gets swarmed. And also you can try to just jump out of your city, do some more damage, things like that. You can probably try and do. But I still think that Pakal and Harold is better for that. So that's why the, the second combo with like Harold and Scipio is going to be kind of a cautious one. Because if you have Pakal, I wouldn't break that pair up. So for the third pair, Chuck and Scipio. Main reason I think this pair is really, really good is because they just do a lot of damage. And with the direct damage factor of 1700 and additional damage from Chuck here, he does really, really good for that single target damage. He's probably one of the highest single target damage for infantry because he gets a lot of attack, he gets increased damage to cavalry, and has a chance to reduce skill damage taken, which is just okay. Get some extra march speed and more skill damage bonus. And that's mainly the reason why that pair is probably going to be the third most likely, because if you have Chuck, basically Scipio and Chuck are probably another kind of made pair, I would say, because it's really, really good and does a lot of single target damage and is an op another option that you can do. Now we're going to go over a couple of, I would say, more budget commanders, not necessarily the niche or best pairs, but can be done if you need more than one infantry march and you don't have somebody else to pair him with. So you can do Alex and Scipio if you want to pair Guan Yu with like Leonidas or something like that, and you don't have Harold or Chuck or something like that. You do Alex and Scipio and Guan Yu and Leonidas, and that'd be your two infantry pairs, which is really, really good. Alex probably should be expertise, but you don't have to have him expertise necessarily. Same thing with Scipio. You kind of don't have to have him expertise, but it would be recommended at the end of the day. And I would probably put Scipio primary with Alex secondary, but it kind of just depends on your preference because Alex primary is also okay. Some talent tree kind of like that is probably what you would try and do. But you can always put Scipio primary and just do that talent tree and get the support tree, which is pretty good also. That would be kind of the budget, I would say, because a lot of people have Alex Max. Not everybody's going to have Harold. Not everybody's going to have Chuck. And I would say more people have Guan Yu, but not everybody does. So that would be kind of the budget or kind of also another pair you could do. So another one that's probably the even more of a budget commander is going to be Charles primary with Scipio secondary. I'd probably put Charles primary for this combo simply because you're going to hide Scipio from other people. And a talent tree similar to this is probably what you could do. You can also probably ditch the medicinal supplies and maybe the Tessito formation and maybe even loose formation if you don't feel like it. And go more into infantry tree if you really feel like it. It's kind of up to you on the Charles tree. Sometimes Charles is kind of slow and you want some more march speed and you may do something like that. That pair is another budget commander because you can do Charles 5515 and you 5551 Scipio and do really, really well. I would say the last pair that you could do if you're just coming into the Season of Conquest, don't have a lot of commanders, don't really have Charles in a good place, you could probably do Scipio and Sun Tzu Secondary as the least, probably the most budget commander you could do, and I think it would do fairly decently. Obviously, it's not going to do as good as any kind of legendary, and in general, just because he doesn't do enough damage, but he does do rage gain and things like that, and would be a decent pair up into the Season of Conquest, if you don't have, like, Alex to pair with Scipio or something like that, then this would be the, even the more budget pair if you're wanting to put two marshes on the field with, like, Alex and YSG and do Scipio and, y and Sun Tzu, that would be okay, too. Something like that would be another, probably the biggest budget commander that you could do with Scipio that you can still use in the open field and it would do okay because Scipio is just really, really good. So the last thing I'm going to show you here is probably just a couple of reports. So here is a report with Scipio and Harold against Guan and Alex. It's going to be kind of a single target damage. This pair did really decently against Guan and Alex. Guan and Alex isn't that great anymore in general because they just they don't have enough damage or defense to keep up with some of the new commanders coming out. This is just one of a couple different reports I'm going to show you. Here's a second report that I would show you. It's going against XY and Nevsky. I would say that be, trying to beat XY and Nevsky in a single duel is not going to be a very easy job to do. And Guan Yu and Scipio together just can't do it very easily necessarily. 
because there's a lot of randomness going on. And also, Scipio and Guan Yu do a lot of AoE, which is going to give you a lot more value than XY and Neski does. Even though they're a really good pair, they don't both do AoE. So, Scipio and Guan Yu is going to give you a little bit more value from the double AoE. Like I was saying, it's very hard to beat Scipio, or it's very hard to beat XY and Neski in a duel. It has to be just the right conditions to beat them in a duel. But Scipio and Guan Yu do a lot of AoE, which is really, really good. Here's another report here with Scipio and Chuck. They did demolish a Monitor and Artemisia, and I would say that for the most part they do do pretty well against other archers. Unless they're being swarmed by a lot of archers, Scipio and like Chuck will do pretty decently, and is a very high single target damage march, and does really, really well. Here's one more report against XY and Eski with Scipio and Alexander the Great. This pair did just about as good as the Scipio and Harold. It's a pretty similar pair, but Alex is going to buff with shields just like Scipio does, and it does a really good job. Almost beats XY and Eski, it just doesn't because they're really hard to beat them, like I was saying earlier. But this is just another report that kind of shows you that they're doing fairly decently against XY and, and Neski. So those are the only reports that I have for Scipio and any of the commanders that I listed with the pairs that I listed both beforehand here. But I know that Charles is a fairly decent commander to do with Scipio. I've seen it on a live stream that he did pretty decently. You have to try it out for yourself, see what you think on that one. I don't have a lot of reports on that one so far. I will be trying to test Flavius at some point within the next couple weeks and try and get you guys some like garrison and rally reports with him. Problem is, there's two MGs for infantry, and we don't have KVK right now, so very few people are going to try and max him immediately. So I wouldn't recommend that you do unless you have KVK. But like I was saying, we have KVK, our past five opening this Friday, and it will probably be seeing Flavius on the couple days afterwards, maybe in a garrison somewhere, and I'll try and share you guys those reports because most likely somebody's going to try and push out and test their Flavius out. I mean, why not? You know, if you're going to max him instantly, you might as well try him out from MGE. So we'll see how that goes. And this is the video on Scipio Africanus. Kind of showed you the pairs, skill orders, and what his skills are in general. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you probably on Thursday again for another video. And I'll see you on the next one.